coming today. I'm Christopher Moore, and I'm here to speak with you about my invention, Harmony Vertical Axis Wind Turbine. So let's start by looking at this picture for just a moment. What do you think is wrong with this picture here? Anything jump out at you? How about there's no renewables on any of those houses here at all? And making matters worse, this represents 99.9% .9 of our country today. Now why is that? I mean, we're in 2020 for goodness sakes. Well, just about. We should be in flying cars by now. That's what everyone told us. So, it's been proven with countless surveys that homeowners are looking for good solutions for renewables for their home. Homeowners want an affordable option with a good return on investment. They want something that adds value to their home, that looks nice, and it's not a headache. Now these seem like pretty simple things, but yet there's nothing out there. Here's a note. Right now, wind power for residential has been identified as one of the next multi-billion dollar markets because all of these dominoes are set up for this situation right now. So all right, what are the current residential solutions? What's out there? Well, they're ugly, really, really ugly. They're difficult to maintain. Who wants to go up 80 feet in the air just to grease your bearings? They're very expensive, sometimes 30 to $60,000 with a poor return on investment. 30 year paybacks, what lasts 30 years today? And in the Arctic, even worse. <laughs> so I think it's time for a paradigm shift. I think it's time for Harmony Vertical Axis Wind Turbine. What you're seeing here is the full size model that I couldn't bring today. I flew on an airplane, it was a little tough just to bring this. Mm -hmm. But Harmony is made special, or I'm sorry, what makes Harmony so special, you're asking? Well, quite simply, Harmony makes sense, and it does this by a number of factors. First, we're going to give you an affordable package, maybe around $8,000, with a five to seven year return on investment. We're going to make it easy to maintain. Everything can be done on the ground. No more climbing up poles. Furling capability that's moving right now in front of you allows Harmony to control its speed and its power output without the use of a brake. The scoops can be made of recycled plastic. Have any of you heard of the Precious Plastics Initiative? This can be built for extreme conditions. In other words, it can survive, we're hoping, hurricane force winds. It's going to be easy, um, sorry, early efficiency testing has shown that our scoops, because of their design, their unique design, is actually about three times more efficient than any other vertical axis turbine out there. So when you have all of these things put together, you have to ask yourself, is Harmony art, or really something much, much more? Our customers, we'd really be looking at all of the residential homes in the world. Now that's a huge, unfathomable amount. So let's chop it down to the US. There's 126 million homes in the US. Of those, 19.3% are rural. So if you do the math on that, that's 24 million potential customers. We'd also have businesses that might purchase multiple units, and then you have your voting and RV community that would be applicable to smaller units, hundreds of millions. The feedback that we've gotten thus far, the Peace Corps has already contacted us. The Philippines and Japan have had typhoons. Harmony would be perfect for these type of areas. Masonic villages in Pennsylvania, Maryland and Virginia have contacted us. They would like these immediately. In fact, when I presented to them a year ago, they wanted two of them right there to test. I wasn't anywhere near ready a year ago. We have 6,000 plus followers on YouTube and Facebook with over a million views of our turbines right now. We get weekly and daily requests from people asking, where is this, when can I buy it, where can I get it? So for our next steps, we have to finalize a few things. It is patent pending, both the turbine scoops you see up front and a generator design that I have. We have to finalize the business plan and then gathering the data from the prototype. We are pursuing investor relations at this time and then we want to grow organically. At this time I'll take questions. Thank you. So we know plastic and 50 below don't work well together. Have you tested this in cold weather? Anything in the Arctic requires a lot more innovation than it does in a, in a warmer environment. This is just an engineering problem. Sure. 
So I'm trying to figure out, is there a software component to this? The, the furling action, does it use just the centripetal acceleration and yes. rotation? If you call me back for round two, I'll actually show you that. Five minutes isn't a lot to get into, but yes, a Raspberry Pi or a small onboard computer would control the furling in the wind conditions. So it's mechanically... Controlled. It's real time, correct. How much power can one of these generate? We haven't gotten to our testing yet, so once we get to testing and running the data on the actual full-size prototype, the white unit that you saw up there, we would like to be in the 800, 800 watt range for about a 10 mile an hour wind. That would be um, our goal, but we haven't yet done the full-size prototype testing. And what does a typical house consume? Um, typical house will be 900 kilowatts a month, which is like 30 kilowatt hours a day. This would be in that goal, if we hit it, you'd be doing one third to one half of your power for your entire house. So you'd cut your electric bill in half, which gives you a nice five to seven year return on payback. And so what is the actual physical size of your full, of your unit? The white one that you saw there, four feet high, four feet wide, and that is to scale on your house top. So that's about four feet tall and about four feet wide when it's fully open and unfurled. Again, in the next presentation, if I do come back for it, you'll actually see a person standing next to it. So that's at the top of my roof line. What, what are, what's my maintenance issues with that? You could install the generator, the expensive components, and everything could be in your roof, in your attic of your house. If you put it on your front yard, it would be on a nice, secure concrete slab where you don't have to climb up anywhere. All of your maintenance is done at ground level. And then you'd have the turbine scoops beginning, you know, eight or ten feet off the ground so you don't whack anyone in the head. You, you spoke about designing a generator. Why are you designing, why do you need a specific or a special generator? Is it just an adapter? Because as amazing as what you see up here with the turbine scoops and their properties, the generator is just as amazing. It's got groundbreaking technology in it, just like the turbine scoops. Yes? In terms of how this mounts, is the, the wind loading different from a standard windmill as far as the required bracket, bracketry or foundation or whatever to make sure it doesn't blow over? Sure. You're going to need solid foundations, a good pad on the ground if you put it in your front or backyard, and it's going to have to be able to maintain um, enough against the torque of the wind. You know, if 20 mile an hour winds, 30 mile an hour winds, you're talking some substantial, you, you need a good pad to have this on, but as far as the equipment to, to keep it vertical, nothing more than what we already have. It's not voodoo science or anything. It's current technology, current engineering. So does the, the standard residential stick build structure, is that, does that have the necessary strength? For the, for the horizontal axis wind turbines, those? No, for the horizontal, for this one. Oh, sure, yes. 